Hello, my friends. My name is DadCraft73, and welcome back to another episode from the Truly Bedrock Let's Play server. Oh, man, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're taking care of yourself and you're doing all right. That is for sure and for certain. Man, I've been trying to get this video started. I had about a five-minute clip recorded, and then yeah, I, I forgot what I was talking about, like literally right in the middle of, I was like, oh, and then we'll go over and do this. And then I saw something and it popped into my head and then I forgot what we were about ready to go do. <laughs> oh my goodness. So here we are again as an intro to this video. You're seeing it for the first time. Um, I have done it. This is my fourth time because evidently talking and, and having a conversation with people who are not really here is a skill that I haven't developed. Anyway, listen, today, here's what we gotta do. This area here at our base, this is our cool like nautical theme base. We gotta do a little bit of cleanup work. We'll work on that in a little bit. But here in the middle-ish, right? It's sort of off, canned off to the side. But here on this side is like this big tall island. And we took a lot of this island down because it was a lots of sand, right? There was all this sand and we took all that down and now we have have um not as cool of an island so one of the things we're going to do in today's episode is we're going to fill this thing back in from where the i don't i don't even i'm not even come there i'm not even i'm we're going to fill this all in this is where we tore down all the rest of the stuff and we're going to kind of build it back up because we want to sort of rebuild this mountain and then up here i think we're actually going to come this way a little bit too and maybe take some of this out we're going to come this way we want to sort of round this we'll, we'll do it together it'll be fun you'll love it 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 won't be fun but you know it is what it is that thing right there is going to be ha is haunting going to haunt my dreams what in the world is happening what is that that where's my get get my spyglass out that looks like a uh uh carrot and i don't know what that is but why does it have to be looking at my base and i don't know how to get the point across to people i don't Listen, let me talk. I'm being serious. I know. I had a conversation with some people and they're like, listen, I think maybe sometimes you're too nice. I like to be by myself. I love to play on the uh, SMP server and have all the people logging in and out. And we're like, hey, man, how's it going? And if you need something from the shopping district, go over, get it. And, you know, you can do little co collabs with people and do all that fun stuff. I love all of that about an SMP server. But there is a thing that I like. It's when it's time to build my base. I like to just go and build my base. I don't like it when people mess around with my stuff. Like I have in my mind, like I close my eyes and I can see the completed base. Do you guys do that? Maybe I'm the only one. But then, first of all, we had a chicken castle over there that was showed up around my area. And now, I everywhere I go in my base, I just see this a big pig face looking at me. I, I know Pigglesworth is a good dude. But I think that's, I mean, doesn't, don't you agree that maybe, just maybe, that's a little out of control? That's a little extreme. I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. I probably should even be looking at it, but get spoiled. Whatever, Pigglesworth, get spoiled. You're spoiled immediately. There it is, everybody. Here, we'll turn this off so you can see it. There we go. There's the pig, spoiled. Yeah, might be the last time you ever seen that pig, is what I'm saying. Anyway, let's, let's get back on track. I need to put some stuff away and get some cobblestone. So we can do a little bit of outline and, and then I'm going to spend the next like 800 years listening to some cool music and um, outline in the bottom of our mountain. I mean, I guess we could use stone if we wanted to. Oh, here's some cobble. Okay. Yay. Let's grab maybe um, how many stacks? That many stacks? Sure. Put that in there and grab another one. Okay. Oh, by the way. Oh, let me show you something real quick. I, I, I know we just sort of like went squirrel and sideways, but uh, I need to talk to you about this because many of you maybe have been concerned. Maybe you've been leaving, losing sleep over the fate of the potato guy down here in the underground dungeon. I know that we've been down here a couple times on my live stream and he's been hanging under the tree, even though there's no reason for him to hang under the tree. He was there. So now I have busted out the potato guy. He's able to go around because I took uh, the fence that was here and I filled it in with a slab and put a slab on top. So now the fence can sit right there. Our tree is restored. The potato guy's around here. Maybe that's him. I don't know. There was a potato guy that was trying to sell me 46, whatever, 46 uh, potatoes for an emerald, but or the other way around so anyway we fixed that so now let's so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back upstairs and i'm gonna outline sort of the base of our we're gonna rebuild the mountain at least like the shell of it 
I mean, I don't know if we're ever going to need to have anything on the inside. But I want to talk to you about a little design consideration. So we're going to get the bottom to design. And then I'm going to do just a, I don't know, a couple feet up. A couple blocks up, maybe five or six. To, so we can start sort of coming in to the center of our mountain up here. But there is a design consideration that we need to think about. And that is, uh, we're, we have these four gates, right? So four gates that surround uh, our citadel or our like mountain uh castle type thing and they're so they just match up with the edge there's going to be like the you know the let's say this is the the smith gate right maybe we'll call that the smith gate just because the smith is there and people are sometimes not very creative uh, so this will be the smith gate and then maybe like this will be uh like i don't know what do we see when we look out there like like the kelp gate or something or the the ocean gate um, maybe, or ice, the ice gate, something like that. And then we've got, um, this gate here, which could be like the ocean gate or pig gate or something, water gate, something. And then we finally have this one over here, which could be, you know, the island gate or something. So we're going to have these gates that sort of surround, but, w and all of them are going to be like closed off with the exception of probably this one right here. So this one is how we're going to enter in to like the Citadel area. And we're going to walk up in like a big surround. What's that? Like a spiral, right? <laughs> surround sound. That's a whole different thing. So what I'm going to do is we're going to come back here and we're just going to use like some blocks to sort of like map out what we want the edge of this island to look like. And it doesn't, I mean, it's just going to be whatever. We need to have a little bit of beach, I think. Maybe we can go here a little bit and then we can start heading back. All right, we'll just do this together. Why not? Super fun. Man, I'm so mad about that pig thing. I don't know how to get the point across to people. I don't like it. And I know that people think, ha ha ha, that Dancraft guy, he's always getting riled up and we love the fact that he goes crazy. Listen, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to be serious. <laughs> trying to be serious. Why don't anyone ever listen to me? All right, let's go up in the air and can we fly? Yeah, no, we can't. Let me, can we fly now? Yes, okay. All right, so now if we look at this thing, let's uh, maybe climb up here. Can we land up here somewhere? Okay, perfect. We almost died. All right, so now think of this being like the mountain that comes all the way up, right? So we're going to bring it up slowly. We're going to use real blocks. That was just like sort of our outline block. So let's say that's the mountain. So we're going to bring that up and it's going to slowly work its way in until we meet maybe somewhere like up here, right? So we're not going to live on the tree. So until we get like up here somewhere, we're going to just slowly work it in. Okay, it's very steep and like mountainous, but people are going to be able to come in through whatever we call this, right? Like the ship gate or whatever. We'll have to think of a good name, like a clever name for it. So people are going to have to come in through this gate. And then the idea is I want to have like just a very leisurely spiral that goes up and around. Okay, so our goal in today's episode is to get this mountain finished and get the walkway done. Um, and if we could do that, we're gonna be super happy. Now that we've talked for like literally eight minutes and we've done nothing except talk about that, cry about people building stuff near my base, go check on the potato guy. And, uh, oh, did I tell you about the hoops course? Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that later. Let me get to work. Let me actually do something in this episode. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, listen, this is what I've been doing for the last little bit. I've been scrounging around through every chest that I own to see if I have any more ice. And I haven't found any. I can't believe I've used all that ice. I mean, maybe I did. I mean, I was like, no, that's not ice. There might be some down below. Let's go down here really quick in our underground area. Oh, by the way, you know how I said um, earlier in the episode that I was gonna, did I did I tell you that? I don't know, sometimes I remember. It's, or forget, it's been a couple days that I was gonna build a cactus farm because, you know, green is a cool color and we might need some green dye. And then I would just build it on a live stream and then be like, oh yeah, by the way, everybody. Oh, hey, uh, thank you. Um, there's a cactus farm. Uh, oh, hey, everybody. There's a cactus farm. Yep. I don't know how good it's working. Working good enough for me, slowly but surely. It's one of those old school, like standard designs. You know, we've got like a, there's a glass pane in the middle of these, like these two cactuses and then those two cactuses. And it just does what it does. And slowly but surely we get cactus. And just, just from working around up there, that's fine with me. Okay, let's see, any ice? 
Oh, yes, we have stacks on ice. I'll tell you why I need this. I'm not doing some ice related build or anything. Uh, in our live streams, we have a, a channel point redemption where we redeem, where people can redeem uh, like a, a thing where I'll build them a boat, right? And they're these just little like fishing boats, John boats, maybe a bass boat, something like that. We've been putting them in these docks and you've seen them around the base if you've been watching any of the videos or if you've come to my live streams. But there's a couple parts of our dock that we can't fit a boat in because it's not deep enough. You know, there's not enough room to actually like pull the boat in um, and then back the boat out if we were, we were going to do it that way. So what that means is we're going to we started the, I had this idea uh, that we would build like services like dock services in these little, little areas. So if you think about this, right, this was like a cutout right here, but you couldn't get a boat out of there because that pier was in the way. So on this, this is the first one that we built. We just built it in our live stream the other day um, and it's like a ice chest. Uh, and I had this great idea that may, maybe we could actually, I don't know, store ice in there. You know, what, where, what would you put in an ice chest? You would put ice. So I just put a couple barrels in there so we could stick some ice in there and I'm just gonna, uh, that's why I've been running all around the base looking for that. So we'll put like that, like that. I think it's kind of cool. I mean, it's not like the greatest little ice thing. I'm sure you've seen those like outside of convenience stores or, you know, gas stations or whatever. And you you pay for the ice inside. Then when you come out, you get a couple bags. So there we go. There's a little ice uh, cooler thing that if you're coming in from fishing and you're taking care of all that stuff, you could be like, oh, hey, man, I need to put some ice on my fish. There you go. Hook it right up right there. All right, let me go up here. I've, I've been doing some work. Oh, please fly. I've been doing some work up here on our platform, our the Citadel mountain. That's that's really what we we're trying to work on in this episode. That's what we're trying to get done. So I finished the wall all the way around. It's looking pretty good so far. And um, I've come to a couple of conclusions. One is I don't need to start the mountain down there and raise it up. Um, we've got this cool platform. We're going to start the mountain like here and raise it up that way. And then we sort of have some underground area that we can maybe... Uh, fill in some of it and then use it for something else. For example, I was thinking that right along right here, we could use this area, maybe put another uh, dock out there and maybe bring some big boats in or have like a canal that runs inside this gate right here. Who knows what we could do? It'll be kind of fun. Uh, I have started the working on the spiral though as well. So we've got this area. This is going to be the gate we come through. We come through this gate and then uh, we sort of hang a right and we go up this way. And uh, then we'll just continue on up. And then as the spiral goes up and around, we'll backfill, you know, on this side and on the inside and make it look like it was kind of carved into the mountain, like this walkway. I think that's going to be pretty cool. And then we're going to have all this other stuff going on around here. And I think finally we're going to get some good progress. That's what we're going to be working on in this episode, I think. I mean, I don't, I don't really have anything else to do. And I'd really like to make some progress here. And I think that would be kind of fun. Um, so we're, we need to build this gate out and get all of this done and all that. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. I was literally over here just a minute ago looking for ice. <laughs> uh, in that area underneath the, the ground right there, there's some chests. I thought maybe there'd be some ice in there. And uh, this, this wasn't here. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go down and see what this thing is. Where did it come from? Because there's been like every once in a while, not, I, I've seen it on some other people's videos where stuff has just been like magically appearing. I don't really know what the deal is there, but this seems a little suspicious. What even is this thing? Is it like a capsule or something? Yeah, it kind of looks like one of those, like a, I don't know, like a capsule. Like maybe there's something in here. Oh, okay. There's a piece of paper. Hmm. Destroy the pig. That seems uh kind of kind of violent for a capsule. I mean, what's the ruling here? I mean, listen, I hate that thing. I've been up here trying to work, doing all my I've been I've been focusing. I've been heads down. I've been putting bl bricks down and filling in the thing and dreaming about what this thing's going to look like and trying to map out the spiral and all these different things and live streaming every day. So, and I see this thing off in the distance. It makes me crazy. So, I mean, uh, a part of me is like, yeah, let us destroy the pig. But I mean, do we listen to a, just a random piece of paper that shows up in our base? Hmm. I mean, do we just listen to random things? Listen, let me tell you something right now. I watched 
Bigglesworth video and he had like some Mario pipe show up out of the ground and it was like throw the wood in here and we will give you uh we will uh help you or whatever uh so I don't know maybe that's what we do on this server we 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 use inanimate objects that appear in our base and give us instructions uh instead of actually like holding any of the responsibility for ourselves hmm. follow the paper destroy the pig I think that's a great idea let's see how would we destroy this pig tnt no listen i think picklesworth did a lot of work he spent a lot of time and effort to make this thing look awesome we don't want to destroy it ha. i have an idea remember when zloy built his chicken castle and it was so annoying to us that we could see it everywhere. So what we did is we built these cool buildings right here to hide the castle. And then he had to build it even higher. Maybe instead of destroying, we obscure or hide. That guy just shot me. I think that's what we should do. We hide. And from the hiding of the pig, the destruction comes. Maybe it would destroy Pigglesworth's will to even do anything else. Now, he's pretty tenacious. We got to do, like, the real deal, I think. Like, we got to not be messing around. Hmm. How could we destroy the pig but not destroy the pig? What is this? There's all this stuff just magically appearing. Oh! This is a full base for a beacon huh wonder if wonder if we hid the pig under an impenetrable hill of material and then just landscaped back over it like it was never there wonder if there was a way that we could use the beacon and the power that it brings to gather large quantities of an almost impenetrable block. Huh. Let me think about this a little bit more. Okay, so if we were gonna do this, step one would be to go back to spawn Look at all the amazing stuff that's around here and then go into the nether hub and find the portal to the end. Step two would involve asking Jade where the end is. Step three would be building a beacon in the end, activating it, and then using haste to mine an entire obsidian pillar all the way to the ground. Step four would be realizing that one entire pillar is not quite enough, and we probably need to work on a second one. Step six of this plan is realizing that even two pillars isn't enough obsidian and starting on a third. Step seven of this plan involves going to the nether and trying to find a soul sand valley biome and then collecting an entire shulker box of soul sand. Now, step eight of this plan would involve coming over here to this big old pig statue that is clearly visible from my base and meant to torment me forever and covering it in obsidian. Now, once we got all the obsidian in place, step number nine would be to use all of the soul sand and soul soil that we gathered in the nether to uh, sort of landscape this thing away. Step 10 would be to go farm up a bunch of moss blocks, convert it into moss carpet, and then make sure that our landscaped area here was completely mob proof. I mean, 
that's just a crazy plan. There's like so many steps. There's so much time. There's so much running around. There's so much possibility for being killed. I mean, that's an insane plan. Who in their right mind would ever in the history of the world do something like that just to avoid looking at what's behind me? I mean, that's crazy. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, that's, that's something that's, that no one ever in the history of the world would do. I mean, like, no one, no one would ever do that. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.